the home teams keep the good times rolling. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Cebulski. This home squad is on a heater. Centers are lined up. Official ready to drop the puck. The Wild have won the opening faceoff and take possession here at the start. Let's the wrister fly. one to an end. Yeah, gets his weight over him and takes him down to the ice and he's going to be the victor in this one. Coming off a heated battle like that, it's important to allow those emotions to just simmer so they can cool off in the penalty box for five minutes, get some rest and some water. Fair to say that was a rather spirited affair on the ice. Looks like both teams have cooled their jets and here's the upcoming face-off. Minnesota's won the defensive zone draw. And now he moves it quickly to Silverberg. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. He's like a magician out there. The puck is on a string. He can maneuver around his opponent. And he gets net front and just can't execute because the goaltender is right there and makes a nice save. Sends a pass over. Quick feed to Kane. Stopped by the goaltender. Here's a chance in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Quick feed down low. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Take 
taken along the wall by Granlin. The Jets gain control of the puck. They fight for it along the boards. Minnesota's regained possession of the puck. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Winnipeg's got the puck in their own end. Picked up along the boards by Crosser. Handles the pass from the right wing. Minnesota's gained possession. And he passes it up ahead to Cullen. Absolutely levels him! After that huge hit, he's really laboring to get off the ice. And you know that no player ever won't... Break away! Great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Key rules to the game of hockey. One of them is you have to be aware of your surroundings and have your head on a swivel. He isn't, and he takes a huge hit. Minnesota's opened things up here in the first as a result of their offense tonight. Michaels won the draw there on the attack. Answered the call on that play. And Ross back in the lineup after nursing his injury, and sometimes it can be frustrating and you feel a little slow to start, but he creates some offense right off the hop. Kellevik's well-respected and a great competitor between the pipes. Johns is known for his wheel zone ability, that speed he uses to create chances. I'm expecting one of these two players to be the biggest impact for their team tonight. Back to you guys. And that doesn't reach the net. Here's a shot. And it's stopped by the club. Nice play there. Here in the back half of this period, Minnesota's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Answered the call there. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Jahan's body language says it all. He is frustrated, and anytime you're on a team, you want to contribute, especially when you know what you can do. You're a confident player, but all of a sudden, the stick gets a little bit tighter. Habits are a great thing. Numbers are another. And he's knocked off the puck there. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. taken full advantage of their scoring opportunities with a comfortable lead here in the first. And they win that neutral zone draw. And now it's over to Kapari. Poked away in the defensive end. Oh, that's a good hit. Michael's stick handling in his own zone. Moves it quickly over to Johns. Michaels taking the puck behind the net. Oh, he denies them with the stick save as it goes off the shaft of the stick. Minnesota's capitalized on their offensive abilities here in this first period. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Dumps the puck in. Minnesota's got the puck. Nice zone entry from the left. Here's a short pass to Kane. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Champion's playing with such confidence right now, and he's got this point streak going. And when that's happening for you, you're having a ton of fun putting up the points. Well past the midway mark of this period, Minnesota's got a three-goal lead. the pass. Connors got it into offensive territory. Rocks him on the play. Niederreiter's the leader of 
this team, James. They're getting blown out right now. You got to look at it as a game within a game, winning this offensive zone faceoff and trying to get a quick punch on net. Silverberg's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, he caught all of that. What a save by Hellebuck. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Minnesota's offense has been on fire to start this one and still lots of time left in the first. Offense is going face off and he wins the draw. Stops and cold. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. And they win the draw on their own end. Passes it over to Niederreiter. Moves the puck. Fires it on net. Oh, aggressive move as he pokes it away. Koivu's taking it from his own end. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. with the two centermen tied up. And skilled use of the stick to put the puck away. Winnipeg's got it from behind the net. Moves it to Stanley. Winnipeg's crossed the line and on the attack. Picked up along the wall by Dewar. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. Minnesota's looking to take this lead into the intermission here as they've put a lot of pucks on net so far. Stalls won the draw inside his own end. Oh, he'll feel that one. The Jets have a hold of it in the defensive zone. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Winnipeg's got it behind the net. And a stick breaks that up. Shot, and he hangs on just as time runs out. There's the end of period number one. Both teams will grab a quick breather. You can grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with second period action in moments. for period number two. It was quite the one-sided take in the first 20 minutes. Let's see if that continues here in the second. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. The Jets didn't get off to a great start at all. I mean, they've been chasing the game, and the real reason why they're being... Scores! And they get one back here. Well, I guess it's something to look at positively, James. I mean, the goal scorer certainly is going to feel happy that they've contributed, but they're going to have to find a way to dig themselves out of this hole, and it's a large one at that. They're going to put their work boots on and try and kick it into high gear if they even want an opportunity to claw their way back in this game. Winnipeg 
Tank's got to find a way to build on this now. This is the time. It certainly is, James, and that's something to build off when you get a goal. You can't sit idly by like you have all game. You have to find a way to execute and create some momentum and more offense if they want to get back in the game. Quick pass to Johns. Cutting to the slot. Takes that pass back to the point. Oh, there's a stoppage. That pin of glass got cracked after that heavy, heavy shot. Well, it's all about safety first here, James, and they're going to make sure that they replace that pain. You know, if it's fired, if it's cracked, and another shot comes or a big hit, that'll send it through to the fans. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Hellebuck's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Minnesota's been the more aggressive team offensively. Look at the shot clock and just look at the score. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Pass across to Connor. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Receives the pass. Here's a chance. Oh, what a paddle save on the play. Denies him again. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there. James, he was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Tries to the paint, off the post. Minnesota, he's got a step. He scores! Oh, wow, what a play! Well, he uses his speed to break away from his opponent and reads exactly what the goaltender is giving him to be able to convert. What a beautiful play. He's in on a breakaway, and some guys know exactly what they want to do, and some guys take what's given, but what a shot that is. He had no chance. The Jets desperately needed that one here. They did, and one of the key elements for them to have success is to support the puck. Feel like they've been isolated a lot in this game, but a lot of runway left over a period to play in order to get back in. And with the two centers tangled up, the winner skates away with it. Now a quick pass to Kane. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Winnipeg's been working hard away from the puck, and they're using their awareness to take away angles and seams. And this is something they're doing with their stick positioning. Coach talked about it pregame, how important it was going to be. The Jets move the puck in the defensive zone. And that's a great heads-up play by Barron. Moves it around along the half wall. Stopped by the goaltender. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does. Oh, oh, it's a it's a right on the doorstep. The rebound there to be had. And they made no mistake about tucking that one home. Sometimes when it looks effortless, it's actually a lot harder than it seems. I mean, this is quite a play to be able to make that move and then slide that puck over to his teammate who executes and finishes it off perfectly. Minnesota's got a lot of skill on this roster and we are seeing it in full effect. We're only, what, halfway through this game here, period number two? Yeah, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? I mean, the confidence at which the entire lineup is playing with is outstanding. The puck's on their stick, they're working their magic, they're manipulating their opponent, and they're filling the net. The Wild have possession along the boards. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Off a stick and they can't connect. Hellebuck's last save was outstanding, James. I mean, it was a valiant effort. That's what gets it done. It's beyond the skill to be able to make a save. It is the will and the compete level that energizes everyone around him. Solid hit on the play. Winnipeg's got to find a way to stop chasing the game, and the first thing they can do is start attacking and hounding the puck. You have to have it if you want to find a way to put it in. Slides it diagonally to Niskanen. Turns it away. Hellebuck's got to make more stops like that, James. He's got to reset the momentum for his team. I mean, it's not about what happened or the present moment. It's about the next save, and that's the key contributor to reset this team and get them moving forward. Minnesota's won the draw, and they'll go to work. And that pass goes off a stick. Taken by Morrissey. Good hit on the play. Minnesota's got it now. Puts it on net, and that's deflected off someone in front. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Oh, and he just got enough of that to keep it out. They're like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. Oh, and it clears the zone. They'll be forced to.
to regroup. Feeds it on over to Johns. Shot! Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Hellebuck. Michael's got to find a way to physically and emotionally engage without his fist, James. I mean, you know how effective and how valuable he is when he's on the ice. I mean, look at that scoring chance he just generated. Nice job tying up his opponent. Works it across to Prosser. And that's blocked from someone in front. The Jets will play it from the defensive zone. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck now. The Jets will play it in their own end. Yeah, they're going to fight here. There's been an edge all game and a chip on the shoulder, and it results in a player down. Anytime a player's down, you know that you're going to have your teammates back. This was going to happen either way. And there's the takedown, and I think not a moment too soon, at least with one of these fights. Defenders as icing is the call. Minnesota's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Winnipeg's got it in the offensive zone. Puck possession right off the draw, James, against a very tired group who just iced the puck, leads to an opportunity. Feeds the puck across to Appleton. Winnipeg's gained the line and into the zone. Quick pass across to Silverberg. He carries the puck up along the wing. Denies him, he got all of it! Slides the puck to Heidola. Hellebuck's been a real workhorse for his team tonight, James. Right from puck drop, he's been under siege, and he's been so dialed in and giving his team an opportunity to get the W. The Jets have it now. Connors got it against the boards. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. And it's a quick pass to Granlin. Right on the doorstep. Redirected. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Slides the puck over. And that goes off a stick. Loose puck battle along the boards. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. The score! And that's back to back goals! Well, nothing like switching the mission and putting your opponent on their heels and getting two in a row back to back. Here they come. The goaltender doesn't like this one. I mean, he gets beat up high because he can't get back to his feet. Why? Because he's running around in his crease because of an egregious defensive zone turnover. Minnesota's probably thinking right now, let's just skip the intermission and keep playing the way things are going here, Cheryl. 100%, James. Anytime you have a healthy league, everyone's playing well and contributing. You don't want it to stop. You don't want to go and sit and wait to come back on the ice. Look out, here they come on the attack. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. Oh, and he had it go off his mask. On the one timer. Oh, there's one more. He makes some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? Face-off coming up here in the attacking zone. Well, they want to put their foot on the gas pedal here, sensing that the goaltender's overworked right now. And let's face it, he can't change. Chance. You gotta execute. You can't miss from that area. And he takes the feed. He got all of that one. Power forwards can be so difficult to contain. Why? Because you can hear them coming, James. They have the ability to deliver bone crushing hits. Centering feed. And that goes off a stick. And they're gonna go off for a line change after sending the puck in. And the middle frame almost done. And that plays offside. We got a face-off coming up. 
Minnesota's had no shortage of scoring opportunities tonight, and they have capitalized on plenty as they take a sizable lead here late in the second. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Oh, a devastating check there. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Pushes it across to Silverberg. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Silverberg's got a lot of flash to his game, in particular with his hands and the ability to manipulate his opponent, but he gets caught on that one and the puck dies on his stick. Well, there you go, 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends, go grab yourself some water, get hydrated, and then buckle up because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments. by Carlson. Niederreiter's got it in the offensive zone. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Shot! And that goes off a body. Oh, he gets hit again! Well, this is a tough enough game as it is, but if you have your head down, you are going to get lambasted over and over again. Tosses it to champion. Drives to the sweet spot! chance and one that he will want back. The puck is all around him though. If he continues to get to the right spots at the right time, you got to figure he's going to book one by the tendy. Fires it. Oh, and there's a great save by Hellebuck. Oh, he just got thunderstruck. Well, he did. I mean, closing so quickly. No time and space there and just crushes him. What a hit. Winnipeg's got it in their own zone. The Wild have taken possession of their own end. Dropped them in the open ice. Moves it quickly over to Morrissey. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Change up, change up. Moves with the puck in the corner. Handles the puck. Here's a shot! And he scores! There's no way that the goaltender saw this puck. I mean, there's so much traffic net front. I mean, screens all over the place. You can see him trying to trap Bob and Weave, but he can't catch up to it. The Jets are showing a little pride here in the third. Really, that's all that it's about right now. This game is over, and you can see they just want this game and the clock to tick down. They want that final buzzer to go. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Scooped up along the wall by Prosser. Nice feed from the right wing. Stahl's got the puck. Oh, what a save on the clapper. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Minnesota's put in a total team effort here this evening, and they lead it comfortably in the third. Comes in off the wing as both centers were tied up on the draw. The Jets cross the blue line and are on the attack. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Takes a shot, and that one's turned aside. Minnesota's been on a roll all night long, and they continue to lead in the third. And they take possession off the draw here at their own end. 
Here's a short pass to Dostaspair. Denied by the puck stopper. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. Off the draw, they take possession. Moves it to Hainola. Oh, he hammered him on the play. Oh, this is just a thunderous hit. Talk about physical engagement. He got all of them, James. <laughs> that was big time. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Great reach with the stick by Kupari. Takes the feed. The Jets gain possession along the wall. Feeds the puck to Kapari. Oh, what a hit along the wall. And that's a clean one, James. A great angle, shoulder to shoulder, and just laid it on thick. Quick pass to Michael. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Feeds the puck to Connor. Expecting this move from him, James. It's unpredictable. He catches everyone off guard except his teammate, who's able to cash in with a beautiful pass. Winnipeg's got to dig down and see if they've got a couple more of those on their sticks tonight. If only they could start that way, hey, James. No but they kidding. need to look to finish with desperation and urgency if they want to give themselves an opportunity to even get their tender out. John's setting up against the wall. Quick feed to Morrissey. And now he angles it across to Carlson. Things start to get a little physical out there. Great defensive effort with the stick. And he takes the pass. Moves it to the middle. Scores! What a finish on the play! of the goaltending position is tracking the puck and trying to get the sight lines, James. And with only one player in front, you might lose it for a second. But if you outbattle and outwill the person in front, you're going to find it. Unfortunately, this puck, it beats him clean. Winnipeg's got one back here in the third. Now can they find another, Cheryl? They need to find another gear. When you're pressing and you have your opponent on your heels, you have to try and find a way to bury them and build. And that's what they got to do right off the hop here on this face-off. Parents across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Lays the body into that play. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Hoibu is so difficult to stop in tight, and he's got magic hands, but unfortunately this time it doesn't go his way as he tries to get a little nifty. Sometimes simple is the best way to go. Niskanen's known to help box out attackers when they try to set up in front of his net. His bouncer zone ability can help limit those chances tight and keep that area clear. Coyne's won the draw here in their own zone. Moves the puck to Burns. He takes a moment to backtrack but maintains possession. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Moves it quickly over to Appleton. Came up with the save on that play. Didn't mean to step on you like that, James, but look at that hit and it just took me off guard. Minnesota's ahead in this game because of their second line. I've been really impressed with their performance tonight, James. When you look at the trio, you have to look at the physical engagement, the way they're distributing the puck, and hey, the finish that goes hand-in-hand hand with it. Rips it. The Wild have possession now. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. 
Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Barron's made a fantastic play, James, and he's falling to the ice. He's got the puck on his stick, and he still has the ability to lower that bottom hand and find a way to redirect the puck to the net. I mean, that's tenacity, that's courage, and finding a way to compete and will your way to the net. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall, and he slides it quickly to Stahl. Takes a shot. What a chance, but can't finish. Well, you got to make good on a chance like this. This is Here we go, two on one. Takes it across the blue line. Defensive effort to break up that play. That's a solid check on the player. Great save from in tight. The player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender in a task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. Scores! And no doubt on the one timer. Well, that was a blistering shot. We could hear him calling for that puck up here. He wanted to eat his cheat up, but he let it rip. Now, if you have time to load and explode in the Minnesota's been putting lots of pucks on that all night long, and they continue to lead late in this third period. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. The extra attackers out. They need a goal here big time. Tries to feed it over to Johns. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Jason. Towards the gaping net, doesn't go. Winnipeg's gonna play the puck from behind the cage. Into the offensive end now. And he slides it quickly to DeHaan. And that goes off a player. Fires to the empty net, misses. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. Barron's got it along the wing. Nice poke check. The Wild have the puck in their own end. And the crowd's on their feet, saluting the team after a hard-fought effort this evening. Scores into the empty net, and that should probably run this one up. Yeah, well, it'll seal the deal, James. The insurance marker and a lot of fun as well. Goal scoring is fun, doesn't matter how it goes in, even if it is an empty net. You can see the emotion on everyone on the ice as that empty netter went in. That's an insurance marker, and that's going to be the game. Minnesota's all but got this thing wrapped up here late in the third. They have capitalized on many scoring chances tonight. Clayton's won the drop center. Sends it over to Silverberg. Two big save right at the end. And the final horn sells for this one. And with the world show, how about this? His 50th career W and you know, he's showing that he belongs. Well, he really does. I mean, you look at the beginning of his career to now and the adjustments he's made, it's a deserved 50. What a game, what an atmosphere, and they're not done just yet. Here they come back out onto the ice. Oh, listen to it in here. I mean, it's electric. They just love what they saw on the ice, and they're getting a salute, a thank you, which has gone down as tradition for this team to be able to say, hey, fans, you've been there all the way. Well, a fun night of hockey comes to an end, but guess what, everybody? There's always next time, and we will see you then. For Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for playing.